guys welcome back to my channel before we start let's go ahead and subscribe comment like and share the video thank you already I just want to get straight to the point today we're gonna talk about like my new orient student orientation day what happened what did they talk about and everything what to expect during your nursing student orientation I was so focused on long 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 on the previous video that I forgot to mention that you can apply for FAFSA uh, it really help as well try to pay out of pocket as much as you can that's what I heard other people saying I don't remember if it was like one day well, it's a one day thing but I'm saying I don't remember if they had that multiple days for you to choose from for your student orientation because it was a lot of us uh, during the student orientation they put us in a large room all of us were all together and then that's where the faculty members I think they introduced themselves they talked to us a little bit about the school stuff like that then um, they separated us and uh, we were in a smaller group in a smaller class that's when we introduced ourselves why nursing why nursing you know why nursing why nursing they talked to us about currently your the uniform what else the student portal how do we get our student id badge stuff like that so that's what i'm gonna be talking about in this video for complio complio is like a site it's a site different from the from your student portal but it's like linked to chamberlain it's where you have you have to be compliant uh, in order for you to start um, clinical what do you have to be compliant for it's you have to be up to date in your immunization such as MMR your Tdap your seasonal flu shot so uh, yearly I think varicella you also need your TB test every year you need uh, your CPR certification up to date they also do a uh, quizzes for OSHA and HIPAA I think it's 10 questions every year I think yeah I do it every year the HIPAA and OSHA everything I'm talking about has to be in the company or website that's where you upload everything you also need your health insurance and if you don't have one I think not I think Chamberlain provides you with one so you can apply for one through Chamberlain that's all of those things has to go to the complete website also your help not help uh, your physical you have to get a paper signed by your, I mean your primary care doctor will do your physical assessment and then you upload it to complete your what else that's all about complete your I think background check fingerprint is also in complete your. I said immunization health insurance your TB, OSHA and HIPAA, physical examination. I think that's mostly it for compli Complio. I don't even think they say Complio or Complio. I call it Complio. They give you until on November to get compliant as a new student. October, November as a new student to get compliant. And then if you're not compliant, you can't go to clinical. You can't attend clinical. So in order for you to attend clinical, you need to be compliant. The student portal has like the schedule, your financial something, your grade in there. And then you can also access your school email through the student portal. Everything I'm saying is what they talk about in the orientation. They'll make you do the student ID badge on during your first or second day of school. That's when you'll go take your picture. And as far as registration, your first classes first two classes I think they will register you for it then after you'll be self register um, I think at 12 that's when they open 12 12 30 that's when they open registration they'll let you know the date through email stuff like that so you have to make sure that you get on time if you want to take um, morning classes or afternoon try to register at 12 be there be on the on your computer at 12 because everybody's registering at the same time so you don't want to miss it you don't register yourself for clinical they put you in a clinical site that is somehow near you so they do it by location I think before you used to register by yourself but now they are doing it by location which is okay although I had like one clinical site although like one hour away from me 
I went there for one, two, for four months. Okay, the classes or this is gonna be in my pull cones. I'm gonna do another video. The classes are every two months, so it's only eight weeks classes. Um, as far as uniform, it's a blue uniform. I think it's navy blue. Is it navy blue? White shoes, white socks, hair tie in the back. I will insert a picture of me first day of school. It was really stressful for me because I, I was out of state on Sunday. My class was on Monday and I leave one hour from school. So I was a little bit tired. I look tired first day of school. You know, everybody look cute. That wasn't me, y'all. Mm. And then you can see like, I tend to have a hair tie in my hands because my hair was down. And then I remember during orientation, they said hair tie in the back. So I had it in my hands in case they tell me to tie it. So the uniform, you always need your ID badge, always have ID badge on you. That's all they basically talk about during the orientation, nothing much. That's all. If there's something else I didn't talk about, I bet I will remember and then I'll include it in the next video. Again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go comment any questions that you have. Subscribe, share, and like the video. I'll see you guys in the next video.